Alright, welcome back everyone. We've been jumping in place for about an hour now, and uh, I think Ryan's just about satisfied. He might have a few huh? minutes left in him. I land, no, never mind. I'm gonna land. <laughs> Landing, no. I've been going through this for Landing. like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we Almost. got the super oh, missile. Ah, I touched that ground. Ah, damn it. See? You lost the bet, now you gotta keep going. We got back with the super missiles with uh, 20 health or so remaining. There it is. Uh, we decided to skip all this shit and just run straight back to uh, the save point. <laughs> because holy fuck, these robots suck. I think that rhymed. Can you get him with a bomb from there? Or wave beam works. <laughs> we get two more super missiles. All right. I don't. I, you know I didn't get that until near the end of the game. For Why some that? reason I I just couldn't find the point to go in. <laughs> <laughs> and the robots around here were pissing me off, so I just never bothered with it. <laughs> now we have a something at the end there too. I think it has something to do with speed boosting. Shine sparking or whatever the hell it's called. I think it's in the side of that wall, so try like bombing down the side of it. Kill these fuckers. Just... Yeah, do that. <laughs> nice. I forgot that we had the, uh... Wave beam? The wave beam. Because <laughs> I think by the time I got here, I hadn't found the wave beam yet. So yeah. I had to kill them the old-fashioned way. Yeah, he just got a speed boost in there. Shouldn't be too hard, but I think we have to come back in because we blew up the floor. Damn it, Samus. Unless you can get it from the bottom here. Eh. We'll just blow them all up with this anyway. Ah. We took some of them with us, so worth it. Nice dodges. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> ah. We'll get it. Just have faith in us. Ah. God damn you. <laughs> Bomb them all. Yeah, we really don't have too many good games in the Metroid style of, and Ryan hates this term, Metroidvania, coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like Metroidvania, because games like Axiom Verge are also in that category, <laughs> and they're neither. Damn it. Keep misjudging the end of the run. Yeah. And then I get hit. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a little extra. Fuck you. <laughs> this is why these robots fucking ah. suck, man. Just come out like missiles blazing. <laughs> nice. Ah. Damn it. I think if we're in, like, fucking Shine Spark mode, it should at least kill him if we're jumping into him. Nice. Go. All for five missiles. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> 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 
We'll need them for the end. That boss takes quite a few. But I wouldn't call it hard. The final boss? It yeah. wasn't that hard, no. It's one of those where it shoots out things where you can replenish your health. So it's kind of hard to die. Alright, and super missiles in hand, we continue our lonely journey. Except that there are soldiers here also. Kind of. <laughs> That's one thing he did too, that Super Metroid also did very well, was the feeling of, uh... Just being on your own in this giant fucking facility. Like, Castlevania doesn't do that. Axiom Verge didn't do that, because you had, like, the little robot companions talking to you. Uh, Samus is just kind of on her own. supposed to be going. I guess down the other shaft there. <laughs> yeah, we can go down further here. There's also another uh, drop-down point in the room above, I believe, that we didn't go in. Ah. So we got a couple options here. Yeah. Wish I could remember where, like, all the laser upgrades were. We really need to get that spacer. <laughs> I'm really not trying to rhyme. You know you can actually shine spark through the uh, ceiling there, and not even come down this part? Oh yeah? I don't think there's any upgrades in there, it's just something you can do. Did he get the inspiration for these enemies? <laughs> they look like, uh, like frosted wheat. Yeah, frosted mini wheat. <laughs> now I'm hungry for cereal. Alright. Hey, look, it's the Spazer. The Spazer! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game's about to get We were just old. asking for that. Hell yes. Thanks, this Metroid Santa. <laughs> Metroid Santa delivers. Were we just saying these guys were hard? What? Not those guys. Not now. I think this has got to be like the coolest looking beam though. Out of all of them. <laughs> Super huge and fuck you -y. I'm still partial to the uh, the final beam in uh, Super Metroid. The rainbow Yeah, like the beam. I forget what it's called. Super beam or whatever. Uh, yeah. Metroid beam. The fuck you beam. <laughs> The Deus Ex Machina beam. I think the next one we get is the ice beam, isn't it? Uh... I think so. I think Plasma's last, isn't it? Yeah, I think Plasma is last, because it's like the strongest upgrade there. This one. This is the door I was talking about. Yeah, I never got in here. I know it's... I can do it. Oh, You gotta get through the yet. power bomb room first, but then there's a speed boost. Yeah. Couple. What you have to do is there's a, um, if we jump across here, uh, you have to get the speed boost over here. And then you have to shine spark across with the door already open. And then you go into the room with the shine spark. And you duck down. You plant a power bomb. You go back down to the front of the door. You use your shine spark on that little ledge there so you can keep it. Wait until the power bomb goes off. Then you gotta jump down and use the shine spark to go all the way through. 
very complicated and took me fucking forever. And what's the point of it? I believe it's some super missile upgrade. Well, uh, I never got it, and I was fine in the game, so... Yeah. I don't really care. <laughs> I might come back here if I want to put you through a 20-minute episode of me failing, but, uh... Yeah. Oh, there's that. Oh, we already been there. Missile upgrade! Woohoo! So, I think that covers this area. Oh, like, we there's got... A little bit to the, is it, there's a little bit to the right, maybe? Or is that... Oh, no, that's the door we were just in. I think this area is done. Okay. So we, we gotta go back to the main shaft. You I like your shafts. <laughs> shaft talk. With Ryan and Ryan. I think we can get to the side of one of these now that we have our super missiles. I don't remember which one though. Oh, that that was that's, that's a dead end over there. It's the top one. Ah, nice. Oh, this one we have to come back to later. It's one of those ball things. Ah, uh, yeah, with the special door. We'll explain that later when the time comes. Just know for now there's nothing we can really do there. I'm gonna go through here now. Yep. And this part was kind of cool because you're supposed to destroy blocks but not like all of them or else you won't be able to speed boost. Yep. Like so. Nice bombing. Nice. Oh, this fucking area. Uh, the video might get kind of dark. Don't worry, we can't see a fucking thing either. <laughs> or it might not even happen in this episode. This is a pretty big area. Nice. Stun lock. Man, he didn't take no shit from that Metroid. Oh, I didn't even see that. I might have skipped that my first time through. Hell. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter that I did. <laughs> Oops. Just another way back up. Yep. Nice. Um, when did we start recording? I don't know how much longer we got left on this one. Probably make it. It's alright if it's a little long. We died in the last one. <laughs> and I can't get enough of this game anyway. Have we been impaled on this playthrough yet? Because that is a really cool animation for something that you don't see too often. Uh, I don't know if I was ever impaled. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're talking about the, the That right shotgun. there. Okay. That never happens for, like, anything else. He just made that animation for that attack. It's pretty cool. It's cool to see. If you get caught in it, you're going to be pissed. <laughs> Really use those power bombs. I'm like fucking lost without them. What? 
this area being super dark, I was almost sure we were going to encounter something fucking horrifying down here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually not that not that bad. Like, it's so fucking dark and ominous, I was thinking, like, a room full of dead puppies or something. Something really bad. this one. Super missiles are really good. It only takes, I think, two of them to kill one of these. Hard part is getting them to sit still. Yeah. There needs to be like a cooldown on the amount of times he can use that. Alright, we got three more left. Back to the shaft. Speed boost is fun. <laughs> the big reveal. As soon as I saw like all of those were fucking bomb points, I knew there was gonna be something. Like, oh, that old trick, huh? Ooh, we're actually running low on missiles. Yeah. All the missiles we are firing, I'm surprised the place hasn't fucking caved in. <laughs> Ah, 18 missiles, we should be fine. <laughs> I believe in you. This part is really fucking dark. Again, if you can't see anything, we're sorry. We can't either. <laughs> Super missile tank over there. We desperately need that. I don't remember how to get it though. I'll come back for it. Fuck it. Yeah. 
<laughs> Decided to take revenge. We're up to 32. I would be embarrassed to tell you how long it took me to figure out how to do that. <laughs> so, I'm not going to. All I'm going to tell you is this. At least for me, it wasn't that simple. <laughs> Nice! That was a good super missile shot. Now where the hell's the last one? If I remember right, that was like the last one I killed. So I'm not sure where the hell it's at. Uh, let's look at the map. Hmm. Maybe it ambushes us on the way back? That could be. Oh, you don't have to go up that way. Just bomb that little side thing there. There you go. Doing the uh, wall jumping. That's something that we didn't show off because it didn't really have a use. Um, but just like in Super Metroid, you can uh, jump at the wall, hit the opposite direction and jump again, and uh, jump off the wall. It's actually, it feels a little cleaner on this game than it did in Super Metroid. Yeah, he definitely put a lot of work into it. In Super Metroid, I could get it to work maybe 25% of the time. Uh, and I used it, I believe, to get a few upgrades early. Like uh, the plasma beam and stuff like that. Before I could get the uh, grappling hook. Oh, hey, wait. Try bombing that. It's like the top of that. I know there's a way to get that super missile tank now. There you go. Because we really do need those. They're going to be good for the uh, Omega Metroids. Oh, that's right. This one. If I remember right, you have to go up top, get the speed boost, jump down here, and fucking... Go off of that thing there. Nah, it ain't gonna last that long. Yeah. You, you gotta I drop gotta down. Back down here. Yeah. Once I get up here, I should have jumped. Yeah, up. that's when you use it. I believe if you do it from the doorway, it's too low. Ah. I think by the time we get this, don't be time to stop. Yeah, uh, we'll find a save point after this one. Ah. Ah, damn it. Add like a fail counter. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't want to see the one, the counter that I'm going to have for uh, that one I was talking about with the power bomb. Uh -huh. Oh my god, it took me forever. Nice. Alright. 
We got six power bombs. Yeah, we got a ways to go for a safe point, so I think we got to hey. call it here. Yep, I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. We'll, we'll uh, head back to the save point. Uh, if we run into the Metroid, we'll pause it and make an amendum or something. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hey guys, Ryan from 3R Gaming here. If you liked our videos, maybe consider giving us a like. Subscribe to our channel for more content, or leave a comment and let us know what kind of games you'd like to see in the future. Have a great day.